Hello there, this is Izix, and today we're going to play City Skylines, because finally, finally, after all these years, we have something that might be a, I guess, contender for super awesome, uh, worthwhile SimCity type game. No, this is not SimCity, this is City Skylines. It's completely different, obviously, but, you know, I'm actually quite hyped about this. I've been itching to get my hands on this for a while, but, uh, you know, I didn't have beta access or whatever. And so I'm a little, I know I'm a little late to the whole YouTube Let's Play of this, but, you know, I, you know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so let's uh, get started, shall we? I did play a little bit just to familiarize myself with the uh, interface, but uh, and so just sound volumes and things like that, because there's a lot of ambient sounds here. And it's a good thing I did. So, uh, to start out with, you can pick a number of different sort of regions to play in. Uh, so we got, and they, each one has sort of its own set of, uh, well, stats really. How much water, what sort of connections you have, uh, the types of resources going on. So we got, uh, what is this, oil, oil, ore, farming, and forestry. And, uh, yeah, you can sort of... And each one has its own terrain, its own stats. Uh, each one's a little bit different. Uh, just a moment, I'm gonna head, adjust my headphones real quick. That, ah, I still need to figure out a better solution for this. <laughs> Having one on my head and then the other one not is, is kind of painful because it kind of twists my ears. Anyway, so let's get started. Uh, what? Where should we live? Where should we build our city? This is kind of cool. Big cliffs and things? Hmm. Shady strands. What? Oh yeah, and there's also a suitable area for building. Two rivers. Sandy beach. Now you're dealing with a bump, bump. Sandy beach. Lagoon shore. A lot of water. About half a uh, suitable building area. I don't know. Hmm. You know, if I'm going to build the city of tomorrow, I might as well make sure I have a lot of territory to do it in. So we're going to call it City of Tomorrow. Because why not? Let's get started, shall we? Now, if, when I tried this the first time, it took a little bit to actually load up the uh, the, uh, the whole thing here. Because that's to render all the things and build terrain and plant trees and things. And Well, you know, that might take a little while. Eons, in fact, because how do you build this mountain? You know, just put rocks on top of each other? No, you have to, like, have plate tectonics and erosion and, you know, water over a hundred million years. And you know, maybe some, some glaciers coming through and we're like, we're going to move some boulders up here now. We're going to go away. And, and you don't care at this point, do you? You just want more cities. 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 Hmm. Does it have the same ring to his cactus? Anyway, we're starting up. Okay, um, let's start building some roads. Oh god, oh yeah, okay, so. Yeah, we're sort of on a uh, peninsula here. Let's adjust our camera like this. We can, yeah, I, I'm probably going to be using mostly the keyboard controls, but like the one to kind of pan up and down like that. I forget which one that was. I can go left and right. Whee! Oh yeah, I should probably pause. <laughs> it's like, oh, time is passing. Oh god. Yeah. So. We got a um, highway connection here, uh, which goes to the city of yesterday and today, I think. Oh, and also we got. Oh, okay. I, I should calm down. I, I'm really excited. I want to build. Uh, I want to build. I want to create the city of tomorrow. Today, yeah, well, slowly get started at least. So you got the, the freeway coming in, and this will be how people move into your city, and how they uh, get resources and crap and. Uh, a train way there, and I believe that you could, your area actually yeah, expands the more people you get. So who knows? Maybe we'll be filling up this entire region at some point. I really have no idea. Anyway, so wants us to build some roads, uh, but I'm going to draw your attention up here. We got this little birdie up here. It's not quite the Twitter logo, but it's pretty close because it's Chirper. Hello, this is Chapa. Keep an eye on for what citizens are talking about and what is happening around the world. You found me. 
Yes, yes, I did. All right, let's uh, start off building some roads here. So we got different ways we can do it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the tutorial stuff since... Z and X. Okay, so... Whoa! Okay, so that's what that is. Okay. I now know things. Good. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I accidentally did that. Uh, <laughs> that's our button for you. Yeah. Anyway, so we want to make a road. We want to make a happy little road going down the happy little trees. Here. Well, let's see. Uh, let's connect here to here. And for the first little bit, we're going to keep it nice and square on things, right? Eh? This way, and it'll this way. I think that lines up perfectly. There we go. Now we have little loops, so people can go each way to get in and out of town, and it'll be delicious. And now, because we are building the city of tomorrow, uh, we need to like have things that you know, like power. So where should we put the power? Well, could try to put it wind power, perhaps. Uh, active, uh, connected, basically word tire pines. What? Can you mind the wind term? How it depends on the wind velocity. I block on the map estimates. Put next to the wind time uh, and place it. Oh, it's actually pretty windy right here, apparently. Hmm. Uh, estimate production 7 megawatts, 6, 2. How much is uh, this going to put out? This is going to be put out 40 megawatts. But if we put it in the middle of town, people might not be happy. But then again, people are never happy in these games, so um, why should we care what they think? You know? <laughs> um, but... How much does this cost? Uh, 60,000, 80 a week. 19,000... Right, wait, that's not 60,000. 6,000. Uh, and 19,000 for a lot more per week. So this is cheaper up front for per megawatt because it's 40 and this is uh, uh, cheaper long run. Huh. Well, we're probably going to have a lot of industrialness the early on in the game. So uh, let's go ahead and just put this on the corner here. Well, that's there. Now, I don't know if I need to put these everywhere power lines because these are all connected zones and I know a lot of games like this you sort of have if the zones are next to each other you don't need power lines but we'll see um, we also need water so we can do a water tower put, uh, that do not allow a water pump station to be built if a water tower is built on uh, polluted soil the water will get contaminated all right so but we do have water here uh, water pumping stations so we want to put this uh, upstream of everything, if we can. Uh -huh. And we have a water drain pipe. Pumps out wastewater when pumping sewage upstream. So let's put this downstream. Back a so. Then let's uh, hook up some pipes. So we want to have this come straight up here. Over here. Over here. Connector up there. Right, and then we'll probably want to connect this to the, No, no. To click. Left click there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not where you want it? Okay. So if you screw up early on and don't put things where you want them to be exactly, uh, you can actually uh, bulldoze them and it will have a limited about uh, you know reimbursement so uh, it's uh, pretty good there so might need to fill that in later but uh, we'll, we'll find out uh tch -tch. yeah maybe extra road right in the middle will be good hmm so you gotta start somewhere right yeah yeah baby and so now we could have things here things here and things here let's uh now you have zones so can have zones. Okay, paused. Uh, and you have different abilities here. You can do a fill, so you can like just fill up an entire section here. Uh, we're gonna put the uh, residential uh, side of things over here. Yeah, that's it's kind of cool. Like 
different zones areas there and and uh, this entire block here or oh you can actually fill it up like that so like as a limited uh, I guess range all right so put that there and yes sort of fill these up here all right so that's that uh now this isn't actually built here so uh, Space already occupied, so can we put it right next to it? Like that, I think. We just want to make sure we get power over here. Because this might not be fully activated yet. I don't know. <laughs> Remember, this is my first time playing it really, so uh, there could be a lot of mistakes. Ooh, atomic power! Nuclear power plant? Solar power plant. How'd you power elevated roads? You can build elevated roads by using the page up. And all right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, take the road thing here, and we're not actually going to build a road here, but you could do the you know, page up. Yeah, like that. That's craziness. Ah. So if you want to build like roads over top of your city, you could do stuff like that. Like ah. <laughs> How far does this go? It's super far. <laughs> How does it limit limits? Not enough money. All right. Uh, more options. So you can also do different types of roads. No, oh, this is still <laughs> this is still the raised road. Let's put it back down on the ground. And this one will be sort of. Oh, I don't, I don't want to build it yet because you know, call me panel unlocked. Oh bye. Hmm. Probably should have noted down what time it is. Maybe I'll just ramble for a while and uh, see what happens. Uh, damn, my clock's not on here too. Anyway, <laughs> so this might be a very short episode or a very long episode. Probably a very long episode. Or maybe just a really long session and I'll cut it up. So, budget. We got uh, power. We got water. We got uh, them not being costing any money. We have incomes. We got expenses. Uh, different materials and or, or uh, not materials, uh, utilities. Uh, I guess you can click these as well, right? Yes, not operating. All right, so coal stored for nine weeks. Cool, cool. Ooh, no, we're gonna. Oh, oh, we get. We gotta rename things. Super coal plant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I think I might need to put power. For the um, pump here, uh, let me do uh, that. Ta da! Why does it have a little thing there? Is it unable to, to communicate with the people who aren't, don't live here yet? All right. So, uh, unless there's anything else I'm missing, I think we're... Oh yeah, the sort of the last thing for those who are unfamiliar with these kind of games. Now you got sort of a demand panel here. So the green usually means residential. A blue would be a commercial. And a um, orange or yellow would be a industry. Offices. Hmm. I combine them down? Anyway, let's uh, hit space bar. Uh, local power plant is online. Maybe I'll get my TV working again. <laughs> Reality shows 24-7. Uh, let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Uh, spell of burning fossil fuels in the morning. Dino power. Okay. Uh, that thing's going to be either the bane of my existence or something very useful. Hmm. But wait. Oh, pa pause, 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 pause. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so down here, you got this here. Right click it. The Hawthorne residence. Hmm. Under construction. They're they're unhappy because because they they don't exist yet. And we got over here. The Mulberry residence. Hmm. Well, well well let's 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 unpause here and let them build up. Hmm. Oh houses. Buildings! 
Places for people to live. Hmm. Excellent. Soon we will be... An amazing place. Alright. Uh, the info window shows you what is going on with the selected building. You can see information about the residents or workers of the building. Find out how close to leveling up the building is and will require by holding... By holding what? They don't have power. Alas! I guess my electricity uh, issues might still be a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and connect this up here. Let's, let's see if that helps the situation there. Alright. Build more things! Okay, you're, you're getting power now. That's good. Good. Alright, so... A low-density residential building. Children? Nobody lives here yet. Hmm. Alright. How about you? No one lives here. Hmm. No one lives here yet. Uh, well, I guess it makes sense. There's no population. No unhappy people, at least. Hmm. People? Residents? Buildings? Hmm. Nowhere to connect to over there. Let's, uh... Just wait a little bit. Surely someone will move in at some point. And again, there's no jobs other than the power plant. Uh, threats of tsunami cause shut down nuclear power plants worldwide. Well, they, understandably. Uh, Alright, so they're starting to get a little demand for commercial here. So let's, uh, more options to fine tune a zone. Take a look at the zoning tools. Alright, well, we already know about that. Uh, density commercial zone. Let's go ahead and put that over here. And we'll uh, see what happens, all right? It's exciting. I uh, don't know how uh, well the music will be coming through on the video, but it, it feels exciting, at least. We got our first business. Uh, the general store. People can now buy toothbrushes. Wait, it's a general store. Why do you say the general love? A whole army of stores? Huh. I guess that kind of makes sense. Hey, we have people here, and they're all happy. They're they're delighted. We'll see a little little happy smiley face there. Now I do have to be careful because uh, if I push my cursor down towards the edge of the bottom of the window, my uh, dock will show up, and well, then it's just it's just madness. So I'm actually using the keyboard for all the uh, the uh, map movements here. WSD guys, make sure it happens. All right, so now we're getting a commercial here, uh, and we're going to start putting up uh, the need for industrial buildings. Hmm. So let's, uh, so we got D zone, the D zone, office zone, industrial zone. That's, uh, now this is going to be a very terrible city to start out with, but we're going to put a little uh, industrial zone over here. Now we don't want to fill up all of this with industrial, we want to sort of, Buffer it with commercial zones a little bit. So we're going to use this. And we're going to click. And drag. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's get out of that. Back up to the speed. I really hope I'm recording. <laughs> uh -huh, We got a, a neighborhood shop. We got another neighborhood shop. General store. Come on, guys, be more creative. I do like the the variants in the buildings here. Oh, we got big goods unlimited. Big factory building up in town here. We don't need any more residential houses. Uh, we're still losing money, unfortunately. So uh, hopefully we can change that. Yes. Hmm. Decorations. Uh. Hmm. Maybe a little more industrialness. Yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> a blackout again? Uh oh. So we're having power issues? Or. Don't see the little power things. Uh, info view, there we go. Uh, so, uh, power. What do we see for power? 
Yeah, we seem to be good on power. Hmm. Just need a little plenty. Um, happiness? These people seem happy. They are very happy. Hmm, children. See the residence. Focus. Focus. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, they're, they're uneducated dolts, guys. Sorry. Uh, lots of uneducated people in my city. Hmm, how are we going to have the city of tomorrow if everyone's stupid? Yeah, traffic looks okay. Alright, let's uh, get back to moving forward into the future. So we wait for the factories to build up. And then maybe... What's this? Everyone requires something. Sewage is backing up. Oh no! Um, how do we fix that then? So we got sewage pipes here. Oh, that thing needs power. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. The sewage treatment plant isn't working because we didn't plug it in. Alright, All right. Um, does that work? That might explain the blackout message. <laughs> Alright. So that's now working. And it's pumping out glorious... Glorious crap. Alrighty. Alright, this ain't so bad. Hmm. We've got a teenager, we got some adults, we got kids. People are actually spawning in this city? Holy crap! Ah. Still losing money fairly quickly, too. Uh hmm. Alas, money. It's a thing we need. Hmm, I do like the, uh, the, the, the construction things here. It does remind me of SimCity 4 again, uh, which was a glorious game. Uh, and if this game were to like not be happening, I'd probably actually do a Let's Play of that, of that at some point. But hopefully this could be a new modern version that people actually care about. Or something, right? Hmm. So maybe you can speed it up a little bit, uh, just to let more people move in. Ah, uh, cheetah speed, as it were. I, I I should probably not compare it too much to SimCity 4, but that was just such a good game. And I'm, I, I installed tons of mods, like the network add-on mod, like all the Hong Kong buildings. It was madness, and hopefully uh, this game will have something along those lines, too. Hmm, paradox, you, you've done me well. Thank you. Mm. Oh, congratulations! We have a little hammock. We have reached a population of 340 amazingly stupid people. Uh, we have new services, uh, healthcare, education, new buildings, an elementary school, medical equipment, landfill site. Uh, so we're going to have to worry about garb garbage now. Great, they can't just like throw their, all their garbage in the, in the river anymore. All right, so pause it up. Uh, hmm. Now, think about this. We want the garbage to sort of not be anywhere near anybody else, because garbage is stinky, guys. That's, uh, oh, that's education. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Two-lane, one-way road. Oh, yeah, we got different mode options here. Mm, well, we got some mode options here. Uh, let's go ahead and, well... Hopefully we don't need this power line here anymore, so let's go ahead and we're, we're, we're going to do this one again, because straight load, roads are a thing. Uh, I think this should bulldoze it, and we're also going to destroy some of our own buildings here. Um, but we kind of want to just send, we're going to go put it over by the um, sewage area here. There we go. And garbage, because... Waste management. Uh, to manage waste and garbage, build a landfill site or an incineration plant. Waste management produces pollution, so the facility should be placed far away from residential areas. Garbage that piles up in residential areas also causes ground pollution over time. So make sure you have enough garbage facilities. Landfill sites and incinerator plants send out garbage trucks to pick up trash. Make sure you can, they can get around the city easily. Easily. Good connections with large roads help garbage trucks get around the city fast. When placing a building, observe the roads to see how large an area it will serve efficiently. Alright. 
think we can maybe do that. And click you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. So, oh, okay, so move it closer, and the and the green is a thing. Maybe I don't know. We're gonna put it right here, and we might need to replace our power lines. Woe is me! And that works, hopefully. All right, so garbage. Uh, hmm. Just relocate building, empty building to another facility, and open the budget panel. Okay, so well, let's name it something, uh, something uh, appropriate. So, stinky Pete's garbage. Spell that'd be useful. Emporium. I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly. If I'm not, then complain. <laughs> All right. So this will probably have terrible connections to the city, but there's not much here yet. And urban renewal is a thing I'm a fan of. And yeah. All right. Uh, oh, outside connections. All right. Outside connections bring in tourists. Allow industries to ship goods outside the city and require, acquire materials for production within the city. The city can be connected to the outside world by roads, rails, ships, and airplanes. The more options for connections there are, the more profitable business becomes, which in turn results in increased tax income. Alright, so we got importing of the products, we got exporting, we don't export anything. No one wants to come to our city because it stinks. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Um, Got this noise pollution. All right, so, so it's very noisy over here, and people are playing loud music in this area. Uh, uh, traffic bite. All right, that's also comes from traffic, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Uh, pollution, air pollution, uh, ground pollution is pretty bad. Drinking water is good. All right, so it's not so bad. Health. How healthy are the people? They're okay health-wise. Hmm. Anyway, um, citizens age and eventually will perish of old age. Oh no! Everyone's gonna die? Holy crap, it's like real world! Hmm. 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 Yeah, chocolate milk, it's delicious. Anyway, <laughs> we're wished to respect the loved ones by having a cemetery in the city to, uh, to bury them. Cemeteries and crematoriums take care of the deceased by sending out hearses to pick up their deceased. Placing a building, observe the roads to see uh, how large an area it will serve efficiently. Yeah, it's, it's, that works. Uh, death care. <laughs> health care? Death care. Health care? Death care. So you have cemetery usage. So I guess you can actually fill cem uh, cemeteries. In which case, you better have a crematorium handy. Mm, garbage. Uh, good connections with large roads. Help garbage trucks. Alright, so... So far, things are not going to be a problem because there's not many people in the city. But as things build up, we're going to have to... Draw plans up to make things super efficient. And education? Everyone's idiots. Hmm. Do -do -do. Could take a while. Alright. Uh, and so, alright, so. What do we got here? We got. Got a school! Children need elementary school? Really? Can't just, like, make them work in the factory without an education? I don't know, that doesn't seem fair to me. <laughs> so saith the 19th century, uh, people. Uh,. <laughs> Working school system produces education uh, and adults fill high high skill uh, level high level jobs in industries and offices. Uh, increase the technology level. Definitely want that. So we're gonna build ourselves a school. And now everyone's super happy about things because like we we could stop being stupid. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna hold off on the hospital for the moment. Uh, I just want to see how things progress. Hey. Because it's more convenient than before. <laughs> we can get rid of our trash, guys. We're getting people. We are growing up. To improve. No more homeschooling. Yeah, that could be something said for homeschooling, but uh can also be something said for uh, public education. Uh, I went to public school. I went to public university, and then I went to private grad school. And, well, there's a lot of different experiences there. 
Like, seriously different experiences. Crazy serious different experiences. <laughs> um, I want more residential, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. And we're going to build ourselves a road right down the middle here. Sorry, guy. Oh, you know. no, we want this to be efficient. Alright, so a lot of people are upset because now there's a giant road in the middle of everything. And But that that's okay. We're going to residential this up. Ooh, blonk, blonk, blonk. Yeah. So now we can have more people. And hopefully soon because I'm running out of money. That's why I did put the, uh, the hospital in. Where's elementary school? Hmm. Education for tomorrow. In the future. Today! In the city of tomorrow! Now I might do a, uh, another game of this. Uh, sort of a personal game to sort of really enjoy because I, this is the sort of game that I could lose tons of hours in just playing on my own so but I, I do want to have lots of adventures with you guys as I play today and maybe some more in the future ah yes more industry I'm only losing 50 bucks a month 49 come on come on build some more houses I need more residents please please pretty please oh, oh we need we need more commercial stuff okay Let's go ahead and put some here, maybe? Maybe some... No, we'll, we'll leave that as is for now. Get out of that. Welcome to the cities of the future. Hmm. Yes. Uh, it melts in the, ra in the rain. Fully biodegradable umbrella in stores. <laughs> Seems a little counterproductive if you ask me. <laughs> but you didn't, you fool. Hmm. Maybe I can like have little spurs coming off here. I might actually do that. Uh, sort of uh, local autonomy? No, that's not right. Uh, localization. No, that's not right. So one more. Uh oh, can I get it right, right in the spot? There we go. Yeah. Just want to add a little extra something, something. Let's uh, uh, yeah, let's let's get a better angle here. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not like that. There we go. And here maybe. Yes. And so it's careful. You have to be careful, guys. Deadly serious about placing roads. Otherwise, everyone, terrible things could happen. Everyone could die. Nah, a little more over. Sorry, I just you just built your house, but it's in the wrong place. I know I'm making you unhappy. Hmm. But maybe in the future, everyone will be happy forever, because I command it. Yeah, just fill these up. Yeah, it's it's like looking like suburbia already. Confusing and well, he's more more uh, cul-de-sacs, I guess. Because, you know, two, four, six cul-de-sacs, you know, insufficient, I'd say. Alright, uh, build us some more, uh, some shops or something. Right? There's plenty of room to build shops. Hmm. Come on, guys, build! There's demand! More commercial space for the commercial god. <laughs> Okay, you know, starting starting to put things in now. Good. Then maybe it won't, won't be so crazy. Hmm. Right, a little bit of everything. Uh, right, uh, t -t 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 -t. Let me think. What do I want to do? Well, we're climbing up in population here, so uh, maybe we'll uh, if we hit hit the next milestone up, uh, we'll uh, call it a day for this episode. Ah, oh, this game. I'm so excited. Oh god, guys, this is like so fun. <laughs> I I have so wanted something like this for ages. It's finally here. We need more industry. Uh, hmm. We're making money. We're we're actually making a lot of money. 600 bucks. Um 
Let's do one of the crazy curved roads. Uh, attaches pump there. We keep destroying our power lines there. Alright, so. Maybe this one? Yeah, that's, that's what, the way we like it. There we go. Now, no, 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 no. Right click, right click, you know. And maybe something like this. Because we're making money, so we can, like, do things that are a little more crazy. Hmm, all right, uh, let's fill in some industry, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and just do this. Huh, it's a weird angle. Hmm, Engelbert Humperdinck. Oh, so it's sort of, okay, it's sort of based on what angle your camera's at. Interesting, alright. And we might need power. Power? Again, this is now connected that way, so... That power line is now irrelevant. Okay, let's move it forward again. How are we doing here? Uh, uh, it's 1% full? They are the 1% full of garbage. Congratulations! We have now a worthy village. Glorious. New areas. Ooh, we could expand our territory. I was right. Purchase new la pieces of land in the area view. I don't know if I know what that is yet. New features, you can make districts. Uh, districts can be used to divide your city. Specialize areas with policies. All right. Policies. Second loan. Industry specialization. Hmm. Service policies. Okay, so I haven't looked at the service, uh, the policies yet, uh, or any of this stuff yet, and we'll uh, probably have a look next time. Unique buildings, forestry specialization, agriculture, power usage. Smoke detector distribution, probably useful, because we, we have a firehouse, so we might start having fires soon. Yeah. Unique buildings. Oh. Cool, we can build the Statue of Liberty. Uh, 5,000 units are good. Hmm. So this might be a little expensive, though, so we'll think about that. Uh, and achievements. Yeah, those are achievements. All right, we're going to go ahead and pause. Uh, Mayor, this... That's that's great news. City can now annex new adjacent land and uh, new areas, uh, new possibilities. And apparently, we need breathing room. I don't know how I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, all right. Um, well, let's uh, wait for next time before we get into all that. Ooh, yes, and sort of milestones. Uh, reach population 700. We just did that. And the next one, tiny town. 1100, and then we'll get a high school. And a pet ban, smoking ban. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. This has been Izix playing City Skylines, where we are beginning to build the city of tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like the uh, content here, go ahead and subscribe, like, whatever, comment, give me your ideas for things. And until next time. Toodles. Woohoo!